Before getting started with this course, you need to know some basic information related to Java. Java is used to program web applications using servlets and JSP. By web application, I mean creating websites with the help of servlets and Java servlet pages. Java is used to program Android mobile applications, not only Android mobile applications, but BlackBerry mobile applications too. But there are some limitations. You cannot use Java to create the application for almost every mobile platform. Java is also used to create desktop applications so that you can run the Java program that is compiled within your PC. Java is not JavaScript. There are some differences between Java and JavaScript. Just only their name resembles but their functionalities are totally different from each other. Java is not used to create iOS apps because to create iOS apps you have to learn Objective-C. Java is totally different from that. Java is not the easiest language in the world, nor it is the difficult language in the world. Because you cannot compare Java as or you cannot consider or treat it as one of the most easiest language in the world. But you cannot also take into view that Java is the most difficult language in the world. It is an optimal language. You have to know about the few things and then you are good to go with Java. And the special concept related to Java is OOP, that is Object Oriented Programming. And Java is a pure Object Oriented Programming. Java is a C style language. As you would be, or if you are familiar with C language, then you're definitely gonna make it very easy for yourself when you become to work with Java. If you are familiar with C, then it's a plus point because you're going to find many familiarities when you are dealing with Java. Java is totally different from .NET, like ASP.NET, Visual Basic.NET, and many other .NET frameworks because Java operates differently than .NET. Keeping in view all of these basic information, you are good to go to get started with this course.